Hey loves, welcome back to my space. If you're new here, thank you so much for dropping by. If you are an OG, I see you. We are back with another DIY video and today we're going to create these amazing art pieces and I'm sure you're going to love it. Like, we're going to use embroidery hoops to make this art. Just, <laughs> man, you're going to love this. So stick by, let's get into this video. In this video, as I said, you're going to use for, um, hoops. These hoops are embroidered hoops, and you're also going to use uh, scrap fabrics. These are scrap fabrics because you know what? These fabrics are not full, they are those pieces that are left. And you're going to use <coughs> these African print. Yeah, you can go with any print, you can go with any texture, you can go with any print color. You know, do you feel me? Like, you can use any fabric you have if you have jeans, if you have dry if you have khaki like any piece depending with how you want your hose to look but for me i wanted to have this so what you're going to do these hoops are, are two i always two there's the bottom part and the the upper part the upper part has this screw as you can see that helps you tighten so what you're going to do is just placing the bottom one as you have seen me doing placed one down and then our fabric and then placed the other one on top so what you're going to do here is just uh, hold them together, push them together so that they can come together as one because they are always as, usually as one. And then pull your fabric out, stretch your fabric as much as you can. Stretch it because you want to have um, a very smooth uh, surface and everything. And as you do, as you stretch, you keep on tightening this screw because you want it tight. You want it tight, yeah. So keep on uh, <clears throat> adjusting the screw. As you adjust your fabric because uh, as I said you have to pull your fabric outwards to make so that we can have a very neat circle at the top where my my palm is lying and yeah this this as you can see this is the best this is a very easy DIY to do a very uh, artistic way to decorate your house because look at that look at that now as I said you have two pieces the what the inner one this is what I'm, I was speaking, I was talking about. There are always two. There's that one that goes inside and the, the other one that is always outside. The outer one is bigger, is larger, small, slightly larger than the inner, inner one. So, it, but when you are putting them together, they have to come together as one, yeah? So this is what you're doing. Once you have done this, you realize they are now together, but your fabric has stretched. And if you gonga it inside, if you gonga the top, you'll have to feel like you know, you see that sound that the drum makes when the fabric is tight. You you gonga the top, you'll have to feel that sound, the volume, the sound that a dry drum makes because yeah, it's already tight. Keep tightening this because I I realized. The screw was too tight for me. It was too what sliding, so I decided to hold with the fabric. If you have uh, cloth uh, gloves, you can use them to to make it easier. And once you've done, at this point, imagine you're done. We're just now pulling and pulling and pulling until you feel like now this is what you want. The surface area is smooth and flat, and that's what you want. Once you're done, you turn it upside down so the the, the other part which has a very very visible um what um ring or hoop is where you're going to cut we are going to cut out this excess um fabric that you have and as, as i was doing this i realized it was pulling because the outer one was still not as tight so i had to make sure i tighten it up if you you're doing this diy with me ensure that to skuma skuma kabisa tighten it as much as you can so that it doesn't pull and once you're done you're going to cut all the excess part you know uh this uh, fabrics they are for you to achieve nini you just have to cut to cut them in um square and then as i said you put your fabric and tighten it and cut the edges you know like that you can have different prints and on different walls or um just change just so that they're, they're easy to change if you have like 
a few of these or like maybe four to five of them you can change them according to how your house look you can look for colors and prints that go with your wall and this is the easiest way of decorating those stubborn walls you know like the stubborn walls when i mean what i mean by stubborn walls is those two walls that are always at the corner maybe the corner walls there's a corner or where there's a door a, a connecting door you see the, the, the small a piece of wall that is always left not the main wall but where the door is there's always like a small piece i don't know whether it's only in my house but there are also there are always those two walls or maybe after the window immediately after the window there are small walls that are left yeah it's very small spaces and very difficult to decorate by the way i find those spaces super super difficult to decorate and i realized i needed one for my a very small um wall that was bothering me it kept bothering me because it was empty but that doesn't mean that you can only only use it on such walls you can use these on um your what what are they called walkway yeah you just just use them on your walkway or if you have staircase if your house is um uh what upstairs you can use you can decorate your staircase with this that wall that is next to your staircase or you know what i mean do you feel me instead of it being empty you can use this on that wall also you can use this on your dining room where you have super empty walls and you don't want to use um other frames i find these frames super super easy to use uh com and very cute and unique compared to the traditional squared or rectangular uh what frames that we always use if you haven't watched by previous videos you can go and see how we created those frames yeah those traditional ones or you can also buy thrift them yeah so if you don't want if you just have to ha you want to have a very unique wall and you don't want to use those frames you can always go for these hoops i love these hoops because they're easy to do they're easy to decorate with yeah so after cutting your edge ensure that th this part is a struggle for me because i felt like my scissors were not doing what they're supposed to do yeah my scissors are not giving it so but anyway we move on regardless so what i'm i want to advise you is make sure that you have very sharp small scissors don't go in with the bigger scissors so that you don't damage the fabric at this point i have this uh um, different uh hoop as you can see this is a metallic hoop and i also have this fabric this fabric is not yellow and it's not orange to be honest it's not yellow and it's not orange it's kind of i don't know i don't know whether i can call it mustard or what but this camera is not doing it justice i'm telling you but it's cute i wanted to see to see i have i wanted to break the monotony of having the african print on that cowl and i also wanted this i really really wanted this white uh butterflies that's why you're trying you're seeing me trying to measure which part where will it rest visually yeah so I really wanted to have this as a mixture as i said you can use different colors different textures depending on your the theme of your house yeah so i did my walls are kind of is it white or white yeah my walls are off white so i really really wanted something on that canini that will will scream you know it will give this a screaming vibe yeah that's why i had to go with this so we're doing this we're repeating the same thing we did with uh the big hoop and as you can see this one has a different shape it's not uh circular as the others and i loved i loved the fact that it's going to bring a different vibe you can play along with uh what what are they called you can play along with um shapes as well when you're doing patterns and i feel like this one made it look even more cute and yeah it was giving so we're going to repeat the same process and just like th this one is easier because the metallic ones don't have the screen part you know and as i said you don't need to have just you don't need to have these fabrics you can also use a white a white fabric and then stitch if you know how to stitch embroidery whatever stitches you know how they're made you can do that with this yeah so if you you can stitch you can also draw on it and then just draw whether we are going to use marker pens or ink just go use your creativity go wild with this create so the best thing is that once you put that hope and it tightens if you're having a a plain canvas you can draw at with a lot of easier yeah? with a lot of ease because it's the canvas has been stretched 
for you you know the hoop helps you stretch the canvas it's easy to to use that yeah so don't be afraid just go go in for everything like for me i felt like this one was giving and the fact that it broke the 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 what the monotony of having uh the african print alone in the house it turned out super cute super cute also the fact that i have different sizes as you can see this one was like a small one and i love the small one because these small ones you can you can mix with other you can do other other prints in the house or other art work and then place these small ones these small ones are very easy to move because they don't take a lot of space so if you and then the way you decorate them you can play the way you you plan your wall like how you're going to put them on your walls is it's going to be determined by the sizes because you cannot have like four five of them if you want to have whole wall to have um hoop art embroidery hoop art you cannot go in with large ones they won't look so many of the large ones they won't look so good so you just have to play with have a large one a small one large 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 small small like mix them up different designs different angles you know yes so this is the diy we're doing <laughs> at this point i know i've talked too much but as you can tell the vibe is that the art is giving it's giving this is the most simplest way to decorate your house because you'll not need to go an extra mile you just need hoop and fabric and that's it hoop that's the sound i was telling you you see like that's how you'll tell whether it's th that can any our canvas is tight and at this point we are done we are done you just cut the excess and you're done at this point like our diy is done now it's time for you to play with it along with it just know how you're going to place them on the wall i'll advise you when you these ones you're just going to hook them somewhere and if you're going to walk them on your hall wall hey halls jesus christ if you're going to just look how cute they look see see how cute they look i'm going to make sure they yeah now I'm, I'm thinking of how i'm going to plan them i'm planning of how i'm going to place them on my wall but as i was saying i'll advise you when you're doing this or any other art frame frame art don't use the nails that we use the the normal nails yeah so i'm going to use screws you know those um screws that you, they are they're nails but they they have those screw teeth what are they called like a screw a screw it has those two small small teeth or whatever it's yeah that's what i'm going to use because they hold tight and they also give you a very flat your 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 art will lie flat on the wall so for me they turned out super cute look at that i know they're cute and now it's time this is the wall i was telling you about you see it's a very small a wall that is just next to my door that a small part it really really bothers me and i felt like i needed something to do i needed to do something these are the screws i'm telling you i didn't use the nail steel nails or something i used screws and then i decided to panga them the way oh just look at that just look at that look at that corner now look at that corner it gave this corner an entire vibe and i loved how it turned out thank you so much for watching i hope to this point you're super excited you've learned something and you're going to try out this if you have that kawal that sumbuas you this is the thing to go for if you have that a very large empty wall that you want to work with and you don't know how to uh, how to do art how to draw how to you know you don't know all that you don't know to, how to do canvas but you want something cute just look at that this is the way to go this is the way to go super easy super amazing use any fabric that you have thank you so much for watching guys i love you i love you so much till next time bye bye